How do we do mga dudes? I got fresh news for you my dude For the next year 2021 5 new Lineup of scooter in the 125cc segment Actually 6 yan Bonus na lang yung isa kasi <laughs> Maximum effort So tara na at tirain na natin yan Roll the transition <laughs> New Suzuki Bergman Street 2021. Ah! <laughs> Dude, seriously, yeah, but what you see right here is a spy shot test unit from what appears to be a Bergman Street 125. And no, my dude, mukhang Bergman Street 125 ang overall aesthetics niya. But if you look closely sa 10-inch wheels niya sa likod, nasa right side panel na yung kanyang CVT transmission na dapat tambucho ang nakalagay dyan. Which indicates that it's no longer the same engine. Or should I say petrol-based engine? But instead an electric motor. Uy! Electric! Siguro pag sinabing electric base motor, ang unang pumapasok sa isip natin agad is the wow factor na makikita natin sa mga e-bike. Gaya ng sa Kimco F9 and the fellow FW06. But ayon sa mga personal na nakikita ng motor is meh! Pretty much the same Bergman Street 125 pa rin. Ang paniguradong nag iba lang dito is the more powerful torque aspect coming from an electric base engine. And probably less top speed performance na din kesa sa mga petrol based engine which is great for city driving. As for features, hindi pa natin yan masasagot. But we can expect something something in the future. At saka huwag kang mag-alala may dude dahil hindi pa pwede to sa market natin. Unless meron ka neto. Next, the all new Honda NX 125 2021 or what they refer to as the Honda Click 125i. Alrighty then, before anything else may do, this is not the next generation Click 125. Ito ay gawang wuyang Honda EPM or Asian Parts Manufacturer. Meaning it's a Chinese version lamang sa China. And possibly pwedeng maging available din sa global market like in Europe. So anong connect nito sa Honda Click 125i? Well, not much really. Besides the styling ng motor which is mapaghahalata mo talaga Honda Click ang datingan. Especially on the LED lights and the head cowling. Pati na din yung front disc brake with combi brake system. Ang pinagkaiba niya lang sa Click is meron siyang USB power outlet. And guess what my dudes? Naka front 12 inches and 10 inches rear wheels lang siya. Yikes! Silipin naman natin ang makina. 125cc single cylinder air-cooled. Maximum power is around 8.8 .8 horsepower with a 9.7 Nm of peak torque. Yup, mas malakas pa rin ang Honda Click natin. Price is around 9,580 yuan or 70,000 pesos in the Philippine money. So I'm sure nagtataka kang why bakit napasama ito sa video natin. Well, meron kasing ibang nagtatanong dyan at naghahanap ng impormasyon. Kung ito na ba talaga ang next generation Honda Click? And thank God the answer is no! As I said kanina, bagong Chinese version lang ito. Kung gusto mo ng more information about the next generation Click, meron na tayong review niya. Link will be in the description below. Sa next bike natin ay siguradong papasok na sa Pinas. The new facelift Honda PCX 125 2021. To kick things off, simulan ko muna sagutin ang tanong kung why bakit 125cc lang at hindi 150cc. Well my dude, ito yung unang na-release sa Europe. Na kung saan meron silang strict regulation for beginner rider na hanggang 125cc lang ang displacement restriction nila unlike dito sa atin. So as for the global market, actually 156cc siya. May review na din ako niyan. Link again in the description below. So ano ang nabago? Well the shimper the design. Na kagaya na sa NMAX, it still has that PCX DNA that you can still recognize. But much more sharper and way more elegant with futuristic design. Especially with the all new LED headlights. 
At syempre, hindi lang facelift ang nabago. Pati features niya is facelifted na din. So, the all-new PCX now comes standard with HSTC or Honda Selectable Torque System. Pwede mo na ngayon matimpla ang lakas ng hatak ng motor. In short, nagkaroon siya ng added safety features. At bagong mas pinahabang instrument panel with your pop-up indicators. At kung dati is hindi ka siya ang ibang full face helmet, ngayon is pwede na. With the newly wider frame chassis At bagong alloy wheel design Which is kung familiar kayo sa Kawasaki Ninja Series Is Kahawig Tire size is 110-70-14 And 130-70-14 sa likod This brake both front and rear With single channel ABS sa harap So eto na tayo sa engine specs 125cc single cylinder single overhead cab 4 stroke Pero naka 4 valves mechanism na siya With ESP Plus technology ni Honda PGM FI engine with a max power output of 12.3 HP with 11.8 Newton meter of peak torque. Mas malakas pa sa bagong CB125R na may presyo 220,000 pesos lang naman. Pero pera biro may dude, nagkatotoo yung dating leak ng bagong ESP Plus engine with 4 valve newly developed engine ni Honda, which means there's a big chance na magkakaroon tayo ng mas malaking 156cc with the same 4 valve ESP Plus engine. As of now, wala pang price sa Europe. But as for the color option, meron tayong 4 color options. So my dude, naghahanap ka ba ng adventure style scooter that can handle semi-offered activities? Nope! Hindi ito Honda ADV 150, but a newly facelift adventure style scooter from Yamaha. The Yamaha BWS 125 Yes dude, facelift. Meaning meron siyang previous generation that goes by the name Yamaha Zuma 125. Yan ang facelift na hindi tinitipit. Good job Yamaha. Good job. Now looking at the design, it's a small compact na puro kwadrado ang design. From front to side, to the left, and to the back. And with an oddball and even shape sa headlight. Nagaling pa din sa previous BWS R 2018. At sinamaan pa nila ito ng additional accessory gaya ng front and side luggage rack with tail bag. All in all, dating niya sa akin is parang two-wheel ATV with semi-dual purpose tires na 120-70-13 sa harap and 130-70-13 sa likod. Ground clearance naman is mas mataas kesa sa dating BWS 125 na may 125mm or 4.9 inches. Meron siyang full digital display na kwadrado pa rin. With USB socket, this brakes both front and rear that is equipped with UBS or Unified Braking. It's the same technology ng Honda CBS system. Engine specs, 125cc single cylinder single overhead cam but 4 valves na din na naka liquid cold with VVA engine. As per power output is wala pa dahil bago pa lang. But ayon sa mga cheese chirimismis, nasa 12 horsepower with 11.2 nm of torque. Bigat niya nasa 127 kg with 6 liters of fuel tank. Price niya in Taiwan is around 86,800 but if converted sa Philippine money, that is around 148,000 pesos. Not sure kung maging magkano if ever man pumasok sa atin but samaan nyo pa ng mas mataas na tax plus shipping fee. Pero wag natin tuldukan dyan dahil I'm sure may plano ang Yamaha. Next on the 125cc category is the Jet RX 125-2021 from SYM. A Taiwanese brand with another concept of adventure scooter. Ang Jet RX 125 ay isang global market na motor. Meaning hindi lang siya limited for the Taiwanese market. The main selling point ng motor is ba, of course the compact sporty modern design. Na naka dual rear suspension and fuel gas cap sa left side ng susian. Parang yung sa Miyu Grabis. Paired with aggressive LED headlight with DRL. At maangas na tail brake light with full digital display that gives that racing racing vibe. Pero ayon sa SYM, pang adventure daw yung kategory ng motor na may matabang naked handlebar with handguard. Meh! 
kasi yung gulong niya is 11070 in a 12070 na 12 inch lamang with standard tires pa rin siya unlike sa Yama BWS na nakasay may dual purpose tires as for other features it is already equipped with USB power outlet this brake both front and rear with dual channel ABS sa ngayon target market pa lamang nito is the European market kasi pasok na siya sa Euro 5 emission regulation na meron lamang engine specs na 125cc single cylinder air cooled but okay lang yan less maintenance na din yan max power output is around 11.2 HP with 10.3 newton meter of peak torque As for the price for now is wala pang anunsyo from the SYM. And the last bike on this list is the SYM KRN BT125 2021. Now looking at the bike, hindi siya yung karniwang scooter na makikita mo lang on a daily basis. At wala din siyang masyadong kakompetensya sa market except sa Zoomer X ni Honda. So the word KRN, acronym siya ng isang Chinese mythological creature sa China na tinatawag nilang Kirin. And the word BT naman is from the Italian word bestia or best technology sa English. In other words, SYM Kirin Bestia. Yes, for the overall design, pareho sila ng concept ng Honda Zoomer X. But dito sa KRN BT is more on puro tubo na design na may almost half naked look na may konting plastic cover lang sa headlight na puro classic design with a rounded LED headlight, turn indicator, side mirror, pati na yung digital display. And with the almost skeletal look ng motor hindi mo aakalain na loaded din pala siya ng comfort premium features such as ALE or anti-lift engine hanger system start and stop zero resistance starter generator system dual rear shocks as well as dual channel ABS teka parang nangangamoy Yamaha engine specs my dude It is using the same engine from the SYM Jet SR, the 125cc single cylinder air cooled that has a max power output of 11.9 horsepower with a maximum 10 newton meter of peak torque. And as per the price, is again wala pa. Ito daw ay pang global market, so there's a chance to pwede itong mapadpad sa atin. And that's pretty much it for the 125cc new line of scooter for the next year 2021. Sampu sana yan pero madami pa akong gustong i-cover na motor bago man lamang matapos ang taon na ito. So let me know in the comments section below kung ano pa sana yung gusto nyong mapasali sa video natin. Okay, pakicheck na lang my dude kung nakasama ka sa shoutout section natin. If not, just let me know. You know the drill my dudes.